46. No, exactly, Gabby. Hi, by the way. Not AM. So I actually might need help with different endings unless you want me to get up a guide but if y'all want to like lead me in a certain direction um achievement unlock welcome back I'm sure there are things that are really weird right all of his co-workers were gone what could it mean Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I don't know what the broom closet ending is. I don't think I know. 420, blaze it. I might have to get a guide up. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I mean, last time we went to the right, uh, the left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had I mean, really been worth the detour after all. I stayed just here to for spend a, while. a few moments here in this immaculate, but eager to get back to business, <laughs> Stanley took the first open door on his left. No. Oh, yeah, sure. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, uh from here, it's, um, left. Oh, no, no, it's to the right, my mistake. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, I'm back here. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. <laughs> Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> just, we just have to get back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, oh. <laughs> we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. okay. From the top. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't get that the first time. <laughs> I got such a weird one the first time. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley <laughs> decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley... Wait. Wait. Wait, what? No. No, 
No, I restarted. <laughs> I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything oh. should be... Oh, did something change? Stop! Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? No! Did you move the story somewhere or... A... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the <laughs> one who wrote the story. No! It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Oh. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. That's so cute! Oh, my gosh. I love that. It is an adventure. Inner guilt. Everyone knows what you did. They're just holding back to let you torture yourself. Well, that is not very nice. Speaking to my absolute worst fears. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. Oh, but God. But it's got to be better than oh, this. Oh, my God. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? <laughs> All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh-oh. Oh, God! Okay, yep, it's worse. <laughs> I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? I love this game. It's so trippy. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. <laughs> Here it comes. No, wait. Never mind. <laughs> Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way <laughs> and retrace our steps. No! <gasps> now this... Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? What? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! <laughs> yeah! Congratulations! Thank you. I know you, you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever <laughs> this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. <laughs> oh. All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. That's Just so follow funny. the line. How simple is that? I feel like I really... Oh, I really do want to help him. Like, we're working together this time instead of against each other. You see, the line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Oh. Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, it's are we implying climb. a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. <laughs> Not sure where I was going whoa. with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the yes. mood. Yes!
music. Go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. This, he's fucking with me. He's fucking with me. No way. <sighs> no way. Okay. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No. No, no. Line, <laughs> you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Oh, no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Well, oh, I can't take this anymore to hell with it. Restart. Oh. You know what, Stanley? Oh. I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? That's true. Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? You know me, I love to wander. Wanderlust. Now, yes, this is exciting. Yes! Just me and Stanley forging a yes! new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Oh, no, not you again. <laughs> Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. <laughs> no lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. <laughs> He's such a good voice actor. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. Yes. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Oh. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must right, be a Mr. reverse Jay. door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Oh. Oh. What? Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. No. <laughs> I don't ending. like this. You're telling me. No. That's what this is. It's all one giant ending. Oh. And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? <laughs> That's really how all this goes? <laughs> it's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? Aww. My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? <laughs> Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, d I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. Aww. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't. Do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. Oh. And the time return. Oh. Stopped? Does that mean. Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So. <laughs> okay. I guess now we just wait. You know. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's it's where we climb. are right Bye, now. Viking. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you...
No, he forgot. All of his co workers no! were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. I Perhaps he had simply missed a memory. I don't like this. <laughs> Sad. Unifex, it's okay. Oh, new content. Oh, new content? <laughs> what does that mean? New content. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I don't think this is good. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. More. <laughs> Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. <laughs> They're like making fun of themselves. Okay, so far it's an elephant. <laughs> Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing <laughs> adventure. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... or oh, there we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Hmm. <laughs> I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as if the... Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Oh. All right. All right, let's see. It's <laughs> the jump circle. I can jump! That's exciting. This is actually very exciting. <laughs> Everyone knows jumps are va very valuable in video games. <laughs> oh, I is, missed. Is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something <laughs> else, right? I love it because it feels Another like I'm really in it with Stanley, the narrator. I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. <laughs> is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's I 20 feel hours so of new content right, right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if, oh wait, there's more. Very good. Very yes. good. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. <laughs> That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable oh, it's my fault Stanley I built up too much anticipation Stanley around the new content over party. it could never Hashtag. have lived up to such expectations Aww. if you're still with me why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley That's parable precious. is really about no frills no gimmicks just you and me having a great time together like always 
What do you say, friend? I love that! Oh my god, that's so precious. That was so... Oh. What? I hate Monday. <laughs> oh. Psst! Stanley! <laughs> come over here! In the vent! I want to show you something! Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. <gasps> Take a look. Oh, wow. I call it the Memory Zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? <laughs> Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. <laughs> Our first kiss, my first car, the release of the Stanley Parable in 2013. <laughs> oh. Smile because it happened. I don't play for five years. Unachievable. It is impossible to get this achievement. Are those really achievements? Deals with tough choices. I remember that ending. I got that one. Stop it with this music. Stop. Just sweet on la memorizo says la pluie de l'eau et je n'attends plus que ton bon amour. C'est là dans la memorizo is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism, 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than <laughs> games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, it was all of them. And mm. now, it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable Hi, anymore. You. It's Thank just a you. husk now. A lifeless husk. We're doing with well. An hour of new How are elevator you? content. Elevator. <laughs> oh my god. I love that like they predicted maybe what the <laughs> OG fans would be like <laughs> Ooh. 
pig nostalgic the tasteful nostalgic it was good is that minecraft <laughs> oh wait did it just spoil a minecraft ending for me person of the year stanley the end is never the end Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot. Beautiful carpet textures. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever Maybe. been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It <laughs> just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. I think they're kind of making fun of themselves. I can't get out this way. The serious room 2013. I can't go that way. The greatest wealth oh, is memory. These were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. Stop. What's this? What's down here? No. Steam oh, no. reviews? Oh, God, no. <laughs> I Stanley, don't. It's a collection of reviews from Steam, <laughs> the online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collected. Oh my down God, here. as a creator Surely myself, these reviews this is were fucking well, hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh! <laughs> I wonder if these are real. Honestly, oh no. <laughs> I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, <laughs> with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating oh no. than entertaining. Unfunny! <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny. Oh. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. <laughs> I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley parable. But the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Oh god. It's real. That's so funny. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, <laughs> I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always will. Three to be honest, hours I on record always thought only. Of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy oh, as it... Oh, well, poor narrator. But maybe it wasn't. They put yeah. the steep user team. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. <laughs> I feel like a failure. Oh. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remember. Oh! What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews oh, from no. the record. Oh Only no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, I wonder what these people and think. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. Knowing the I'll review pop ended up in, in the game. Time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with. <laughs> oh, you're back, you see. You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of un- 
<laughs> well, there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? Mm -hmm. But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie 9 will say about this, <laughs> and whether they'll edit the rating of their Steam review, or at least change some of the wording, perhaps. This is too real. To be honest, I don't even know if one can change their review in the first place. I guess Cookie I should nine. become better educated on exactly how Steam works. Oh my god. Okay, welcome back, Stanley. <laughs> now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 oh minutes. Oh my god. It's not unendurable by any. <laughs> Stanley! Stanley! <laughs> Stanley, please don't push the button again. It's been 12 <laughs> hours. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. Oh! <laughs> I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. And there's no door, Stanley. Oh. There's no door. There's just you. Oh, Stanley. <laughs> you're back. You're back. Oh, my goodness. Oh. I have someone to talk to again. Oh, no. Stanley, I... I think it's been a week. Oh! Or two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time. <laughs> so just sitting sad. here. Not a single person to speak with. <laughs> no! Oh, hello. No. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Oh. Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. <laughs> there is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stanley. Days. Months. Hi, I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. I miss him. No, I miss him. I don't want to skip anymore. Look what you did, Cookie Nine! Look what you did, Cookie Nine! But they didn't understand the game was never <laughs> meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. Mm. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down mm -hmm. review and make all of their pitiful demands. But Man, then, this he's is talking too hard. much. They said, first, he didn't entertain us. Now he won't shut up. This is it's all my YouTube comments. It's the lack of accountability. <laughs> it's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart the words that they are speaking into the world as though there were no consequences for a lack of cohesion in one's assessment of our but of course absolutely anyone can leave a review so yeah. here's what we get we get these demands that seek everything yep. and are accountable to nothing yep. we get a world where someone will say oh there should be a skip button <laughs> yeah. you should be able to freeze stanley in place yeah. while the narrator sits there forever and ever yeah. we want all of this in the new stanley parable we demand it mm -hmm. and then because it was said because it was spoken now it simply has to happen the most immediate desires. Every single thing demanded by every person at every moment in time. If someone wants it, then it's a crime not to bring it into being. He Have we been is given going to off. indulging every fleeting whim for no reason other than to do so? Yes! Yes! It seems that this is now the world we live in. It seems that we I've are a babies. people living in such bleakness and discomfort with babies. ourselves that our entertainment is now our lives. Yep. It has come to yep. represent us. It absolutely must speak to who we are as people. Because otherwise, without our entertainment, we have nothing. Without entertainment, we would have to face inward toward the cruel Ooh, bleakness inside ourselves. Fire. We would turn to look at our deeper nature and find a resounding emptiness gazing back with unyielding aggression. And so, so because of this, 
We require that our amusements and our playthings and our flights of fancy be so impossibly captivating that they consume all oh, of our attention, turn our heads completely God. away from the bleakness. In effect, we have demanded that our entertainment be the collapse of ourselves. What a pitiful reflection of humanity these entertainments are. What a shameful mirror to the human spirit they project. I'm not mad. I'm not mad about any of this. I'm at peace with it. I am the calm center of gravity around which these perversions. <laughs> the end is never the end. <laughs> Is never the end, 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 this is a perfect representation of my brain. Oh God! Oh, no, I'm afraid. As Arthur Morgan would say, I'm afraid. What, what, what year are we in? You know, there's no clock anymore. What is when the man disappeared? No! No! Bro, this is like... It was like the apocalypse and then um, humanity dying and plants flourishing and now the old gods have taken back the earth. And it's like aliens out there. Stop! This is so scary! No. The silence is the worst one for me. No, that's... That's... That's aliens. That's aliens. That's... No, that's aliens. Oh God, <gasps> I'm gonna puke. I'm gonna puke. I'm gonna puke. This reminds me of Bonnie Vare. His numbers album. That was probably my favorite so far. I loved that. Oh my gosh. 
All of his co-workers <laughs> are gone. This what is could it so mean? good. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Okay, let's Perhaps try to do the broom closet. Y'all said new, new content. Let me try doing when the broom Stanley closet. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got this, back This I on just track. stay in here, right? There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least this if there was, was something me. to interact with, he in the be closet for most in some of my way. life. As it is, it's just he's familiar. literally just standing there doing sweet FA. Are you are you really still in the broom closet? Yeah. Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. Uh, cause it's nice in here. It's like it's nice. I'm an introvert. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here. Yeah, right? and that's why it's nice. If I said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. No. It didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the it's story. It's a nice whatsoever. little rest. I never would have thought to mention it. It's a nice rest, you know, no one's gonna come in. It's a really good amount Maybe of space. To you, this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. <laughs> I hope your friends find this That's concern. you! That's you! That's my chat! That's my chat! Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. No! He probably only got the job because of a family <laughs> connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. That's well, I've come to here. a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. <laughs> You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby <laughs> so as to Imagine ensure the narrator that your body goes, is taken Caleb! care of before it begins to decompose. Ew. Hello, anyone who happens Caleb. to be nearby, the person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to if any you're number of your speakers? human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game so mechanics sassy. and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Yeah, spaghetti. New streamer, please. Please replace with the Shiva. I really hope he did. Ah, second. You too. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Did you got the broom? Broom flies at ending. Do I just stay here? That's the, that ending is done. 
Really? Okay. Is that even an ending? Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I think I did this already. But I don't know if there's like a different way to go. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might Oh, uh, is this the one where you that. get stuck? And in such a competitive economy, why? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Um, Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, let's go. Let's go. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the yeah, door. Yeah, we'll go to the left. left and then up and see if there's something different I can do. Because I... Yet there was not what? a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, hey, Tech, Stanley yeah. decided to go up to his boss's I office. I want to see all Coming the ending. Staircase, Stanley walked so upstairs up to his boss's office. And then I think this is pretty... Oh my god, the panda! Why? Business strategy. You go down the elevator, then turn around and go back up. Okay. gonna bug me. Okay. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? I don't what see he could an not elevator have known in here. Was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him, and so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, eight four, four five. five. But of course, Behind Stanley here. couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Oh, here's he the elevator. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Hi, Dylan. Okay, cool. Oh, you got it. 
Thank you so much for the fifty dollars. Can't stop and live often as I have been working sixty-hour weeks Ew. these days, but I've been really enjoying the AC streams Thank whenever you. I can. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That's incredibly generous. Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office, exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's still just exactly what it is. What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. Congrats, this has fleshed Disney. out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. Incredible. <laughs> now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, I am. How does he keep coming up with all of this? I uh, My chat. My chat is really smart. Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky corridor? No. No. It's time once again to go back up in the elevator. Yes. I can't even begin to grapple with what might be up there. Is oh. it the boss's office again? <laughs> or what if it's the boss's office this time? <laughs> the suspense is killing me. <laughs> this is the Stanley Parable Disney. I think you'd like it. Wee! It's just fun. Oh my god. It's the boss's office. <laughs> <sighs> this absolutely changes everything for me. Give me a time out here for a minute while I process this. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready. I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation and to move forward with... No! No, wait! No! I need more time to process. This should be the BRB screen for the stream. I have fully come to terms with it. I have made space in my worldview for this astonishing new reality. As before, I turn to your expert eye for gripping narrative, Master Stanley. Master Stanley! <laughs> of course. Going back down in the elevator. Yeah. How did I not anticipate it? I mean, sure, now it's obvious, but you have to understand that 30 seconds ago, this kind of thing had never been attempted before. I had no frame of reference to even anticipate it. He's, he's That's getting... That's just how revelatory Stanley's decision-making is. He's bothered by me. A breath of fresh air in a landscape of oh, storytelling I would that has grown stale and repetitive. And I would like to read it.
I think it's done. I think he's done with me. I think he's done with me. Oh. You know what? I've just thought of something. Hold on, let's stop for a moment. Don't you realize? It's the anticipation, Stanley. You and I, we have no way of knowing what will be at the top of this elevator. But the suspense, the agony of waiting and anticipating and having to guess, that's the real thrill. Oh. oh I simply don't want to let that feeling go. It's so precious. Hey, Meg, so how are you doing today? Hey, Why don't God, we take I'm this well. elevator how are you? Nice and slow? Oh, no. There we go. I'm on the edge Isn't of my this seat. so much more exciting? Yes. Isn't it, Stanley? it seems like nowadays the only thing that audiences want is to be shocked as loudly and frequently as possible. They want big, explosive moments flung right, right in their faces from the very moment that things get started. Exactly, exactly. Where's the, where's the trust in the audience to build a slow and nuanced appreciation for the yeah. story, the characters? Why aren't we given time to imagine the surprises? To have to think and to anticipate and then to marvel at the eventual reveal. This is storytelling, Stanley. Mm -hmm. What you and I are doing right now. This is the most exciting narrative to be developed in years. Yeah. And it's really all because of you. Yes. You're the one who took this bold step of revisiting the exact same locations over and over. Truly, I mean it. This is unique and different. It's not like anything else out there. You see, I want stories that surprise me, Stanley. I want to have yeah, to Yeah, calling out Marvel. I want to be engaged and not pandered to. We're being fed such unimaginative drivel all the time, and we all know it, which is why we're so starved for content that makes us feel sharp and vital and alive. That's why people like you so much, Stanley, because you're not afraid to spit in the face of tradition. You're a role model, you know? People look up to you, which is why, though I didn't know when to spring this on you, but, well, I've gathered a little press conference for you. Oh. So that you can talk about your work and your storytelling and your life. Yes, I know you're not much for the hey, public Hitman. eye, but I thought it would especially mean a lot to the people who have been following you from the beginning. They really look up to you, Stanley. I don't know if you realize the impact you have on them. Uh -oh. This is the kind of gesture that might leave a tremendous impact on them for the better. Oh! Oh, good, we're here. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, the room where we're holding the press conference <laughs> should be just around the corner here. So <laughs> I'm on stage. World's healthiest human be being. All tricks revealed. How we did it. The pyramids. The guy who went to Mars. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, Four. Good to see you. Be good. Thank you for the four months. World peace baby. An evening with world peace baby. <laughs> ah, yes. Here it is. Just through this door. We're world's first sentient mach machine. Okay. Doing great. A conversation with Alexander the Great. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? I've told them you're going to speak a little bit about the nature of surprise in storytelling and oh. what it means to craft a truly unpredictable narrative. <laughs> oh, don't worry. You'll do great. Just be yourself and speak from the heart. I'm I'm really proud of you, Stanley. Oh, up again, okay. down again. <laughs> it looks like they're ready for you. Go get them. Stanley me. Age six. Thanks for showing me that cool skateboard trick in the parking lot. You are too cool. Good luck on stage. Recollect champ, your boss. I love the way you ride elevators. <laughs> no one tells stories the way you do. Go get him, Tiger. Stealing my true love for you grows. Every day, you make me feel alive. Your wife from the apartment ending. Oh. Oh, wait. Yeah, the wife. Congratulations, Shirley. Stanley, remember where you came from? Your co-workers. Yeah, for sure, Mr. J. Hi, Oricana. It's so good. If you're talking about this or Assassin's Creed 3. The dude who came up with pizza.
I loved that one. That was great. All of his co-workers were gone. All of his co-workers were gone. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Let's do the new content. We still oh, have some good. You notice new my new sign. content. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. Nice. Donuts have been acquired. Yes. Probably do one or two more. Then I'm going to take a break and then we'll play Assassin's Creed. This is fun to like start with, you know. Hi, Abe. It's so good. Not the elevator again. New content. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley parable was a landmark and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So Unifex, thank you. Nonsense, I say we take it one thank step Thank you even for gifting further, us up to tech. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever, the Stanley parable two. Yeah! Oh, hell yeah! Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built right. from the ground up. Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go in so Two. many Do. different directions. This is what <laughs> fans have truly been Dos. asking for. Taste the sequel. <laughs> Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even <laughs> mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic Just the two of us. Right we there. can make it it's if we try. Just it the two of us. It screams progress and innovation and long-term <laughs> franchising potential. Sorry, narrator. I got very excited with that. Oh, we got laptops this time. Okay, so we're like renovating the office to be like a Google office. That's pretty cool. A nuke in the Stanley Par Parable. More Stanley Parable, better Stanley Parable. Paradigm shift, synergy, brick and mortar approach, envelope client centric marketing, the color red, leverage, holistic value, one to two. Sequential mind share. I love what we're coming up with today. Logo ideas. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that looks like The Last of Us. <laughs> Thanks for attending my meeting. It's Comic Sans. This is a tech startup office now. Exactly. Oh, whoa. Oh, two. <laughs> I like that one. Two Stanleys. The Stanley of us. Now, to be clear, <laughs> I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. The end is never the end I again. Figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally <laughs> spring up around them. Right, right, right. It'll work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific. Yeah, or logical, exactly. Really. Sequels are good. Portal 2, Half Life 2, Batman Arkham Asylum 2, City, Divinity Original Sin 2, Doom 2, Aladdin 2, <laughs> Return of Jafar. Hey, where's Ruby? She loves. Wait. Maybe she doesn't. She actually might not like Return of Jafar. Dark Souls 2. Crab, the <laughs> ultimate sequel. Testing two printers at the same time. This is also so Jackson's humor. Two, 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 like writing it different ways. Shin, hello. I'm good. How are you? Caleb and I might try to see John Wick tonight. Hey, Don. This way to the show floor. Okay. Oh, new content too. New features. <laughs> this is like every Apple um, expo or whatever, where they like show the new iPhone since Steve Jobs died. RIP. Um, Unifex, thank you for gifting us up to Fireball. 
when they just reveal like the exact same iPhone and they're like, whoa, or when they, <laughs> when they did, the, do you all remember the logo reveal for what was it? It was something so ridiculous. It was a logo reveal and it was like this huge buildup. Oh, Lance. <gasps> How was it, Jin? Here we are. Go on, try out some of the new features. I saw the new merch. I saw the new content. The Stanley Parable too. This t-shirt t-shirt has the best new feature. I can't wait to watch it. I need some of this merch. Oh God, Stanley. Okay, I'll be honest. I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. Which would you go with? This. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which Please one you actually really Please don't do the step knees. Please don't do the step knees. Oh, God. Is. Oh, wait, how did you see the D&D &D movie already? I thought it wasn't out yet, Frost. Or actually, maybe I should have gone with... No. no. Yeah, you should I've have gone with the other decision. one. We're moving on. You're going to get in trouble for the Stepneys one. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 right. as well. Right, 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 right. Oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Hmm. Oh, well... I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece no! then. No! Now I'm mad. Now I'm really mad. Wow, Stanley, can you find them? Collect them all. Oh God, what the? F ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Oh. Okay. Calling me out with the feathers and treasures and Assassin's Creed. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. Free achievement. Ray traced more of the same, but in a good way. Red is the new orange. A whole new office. Enjoy the new features. Hear your name in the game. I would love to hear my name in the game. Epilogue. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it will go at the end of the, um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. That's it? <laughs> That's all you have to say about the epilogue? <laughs> For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button, which speaks the name of the person please, playing please, the please, game. Please, 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 please. Isn't that wonderful? It is. Well, okay, so will it know my name? Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, sleeping and waking as Jim, 
falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim, seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim, and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? If so, then please step forward and press the button. Jim. <laughs> yes! You see! What a thrill! What a rush! That was you! The button described you. Do it again. Do it again. Jim. Ooh, it hits even harder the second time. <laughs> if this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still oh, be worth the yeah, money. Oh, yeah, definitely. Let's for sure. Let's take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. <laughs> me me cancelling stream because y'all were too nice to me the day before. <laughs> Oh, there, cowboy. <laughs> Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. I'm putting the gym button away. Otherwise, soon you'll start oh. to lose all Jim, sense of Jim, who you actually Jim, are. Jim, 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 <laughs> That was fun. Too late. I am Jim. I'm Jim. The reassurance bucket. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable too. Oh. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. Wow. Please, no screenshots. Really, dude? You really had to just rub the fucking balloons in my face. The other one was way better. Just saying. Okay, let me get this achievement. Infinite hole. Pull the lever, receive your new achievement, no more steps. It just works. Get yours right now. Now here's something special. No, you there's remember gonna that be broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. <laughs> you see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It, okay, perhaps I no! should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley. I'm but I gonna it get will you. Be fixed in the sequel. To at no. last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you. And I promise it <laughs> we will We hear happen. you. Gamers, we hear you. <laughs> That's so funny. Hi, bunny. Well, that made me mad. I thought I was going to get an achievement. I need the little dopamine hit, narrator. You don't what understand. Else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Whatever is down here, the black hole. Time depth. Hole like infinity. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. My stomach dropped. You see? Isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Intrusive thought intensifies. Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. You told me it was infinite. Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully. It's not infinite. But it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Okay, well, <laughs> good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You found me out, Stanley. 
I'm a liar and a cheater. Meeting you're so pink. clever. Look, I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. <laughs> <sighs> Look, uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why it's don't okay. we just put all yeah. this behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly infinite? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that works for you, yeah. then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Whoa, I see the little light up there. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Wow, that was really nice. I loved that. Not uh, mostly infinite hole. Jump in again. Oh, for <laughs> heaven. You see, I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this yeah, time? Yeah, definitely. I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole. I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you I don't have the Resident Evil 4 remake. I've never played Resident Evil 4. And come join me up above. Had enough? I'm positive. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing with Wow. Okay. Yes. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only is not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top <laughs> and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Okay. Well, there it is. Oh. The shame of my life. How is this still appealing to you? <laughs> I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever <laughs> it is you're here to do. And hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Hmm. Is the um, oh no teleport button not working? No, it's not. You sure? Yeah. Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. It was work. Still nothing. Well, I suppose, I, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have I can't asked jump. for. It's a win for everyone. You get to be with the hole. I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of eternity. Is it if this isn't the consequences of my actions? Oh god, no! Yeah, the mostly infinite hole, Keeney. Hi. This is like 
like a Kanye West concert. You're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed <laughs> off there, drifting away into dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley, because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really truly oh. focused on the hole? From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole. And I'm looking Hello. forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodle pip. I wanted to play around more in the hole. Don't clip that. Oh. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Please no screenshots. <laughs> Take a screenshot. Um, I don't know what else is here. Oh, the bucket. The common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I'm happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental clever. problem with the game. It's I love that he has Stanley like a, almost a royal accent. Bucket. You see, Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill Seb, your mind. Hi! Oh my god, I love that. How are you doing? The many disorienting contradictions of the I would love to buy the merch. Will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning <laughs> the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yeah. Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? <laughs> I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive. <laughs> I like that laugh. <laughs> the benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more awaits you in the Stanley Parable. Oh, team. right. I can just carry it around. Amazing. The button that says. Does anyone give Jim. out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? <laughs> it really should be an award if it isn't already. 
my emotional support bucket. You heard jam in the game. I love that it changed from like, you can hear your own name to be about Jim. Um. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and then so the bucket is just with me now I can't put it down anywhere <laughs> all right have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready to move on I now? I think so. That's what my chat says. Oh, well, look at you, Stanley. New mug. Oh. Yeah, I got the collectible. The Sister, very special collectible. Do you like all of the new features? I really Guess I know do. it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but the bucket is everything. Myself. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. So let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley I haven't played Portal. Parable no, 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 no spoilers for Portal because I have no idea. I need to record um my playthrough um, of it. Well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of okay. Never mind. <laughs> Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay. Yes. Yes. This is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version two. Oh. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create I used a up sequel all my jumps. that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. I wonder this if the devs course, actually had this with conversation. Respect, with care for the vision and integrity of the it's original so game. It's so funny. Would it possibly work? I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Yes. Let yes. me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh, now this is something. Now that's something. Are you going to take me right to the beginning? This is the story of a man named Stanley. Oh, it has the skip Stanley button. Stanley worked for a company in a big building <laughs> where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Should Orders I quit came the game? to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders he made, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Oh! Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions. I'm call a so meeting, mad! 
Yeah, of you insane. used the other I balloon. Never in all his years at the company. And it's just this taunting happen. me with this the balloon that I didn't isolation. choose. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Happy birthday, Stepneys. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. The bucket! Stanley yes! picked up the bucket. Oh, I feel much better. Emma! Hello! Good to see you! Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. <laughs> it's and like a squishmallow. Um, do I want to go to the left? No. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, mm -hmm. telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place exactly, to be. Exactly, exactly. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. Still no oh. one was here. Stanley needed oh. the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Oh. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Oh, Stanley, can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. No, you can feel no, that, can't you? No. The aura of jealousy? No. It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the no. bucket. I can really feel it. Huh? No. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. Coming to a staircase, <laughs> Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. Oh! Yes! You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. Whatever. Extreme bathrooms. Oh, it's locked this time. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him always. The bucket would, and he knew it. Aww. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. I was pretty close. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it's just it me and my bucket. Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. Me and my bucket, yes! Another miniature Stanley figure. Woo! Have we there? Some, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Stanley figs? Oh. Um, what about Stanlerines? Yes, I think I like that. Another Stanlerine Stan under your belt. <laughs> the bucket's name? Baketa? <laughs> the elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. <laughs> It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. 
soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. Bucky. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Everything's gonna be all Stanley right. Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. So didn't I try to escape once and it didn't work? Lights rose we on an enormous this. room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both <laughs> wondered to themselves. Oh, that's so sweet. Really, so you? Oh. <laughs> the monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Yeah, I got squished. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very Ew. nearly burst into tears as oh. Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. Jim, the bucket. I'm so sorry. It's it'll be okay. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish oh to do? Oh my God! Is that the Meg Man? Oh. I am as always so super honored to have been in this wonderful place. community for as long These as I have been. Less than three spring breaks for the breeze, which means more Meg. Oh. I love you, beautiful, and I hope you have the best week ever. No! How old does this make our stream baby he couldn't now? Couldn't accept it. Lol, His own that's life too? in someone else's control. Me. Never. He squeezed the bucket. Bray, tighter. thank you for the His thirty-five months. That's so many. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. Oh. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. That's so sweet, the Bree. the reality of his past began to sink in. Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power I've over another I've never, like, life. kept For he and the bucket the would dismantle control the controls facility. for good. Two best friends. But at the last second, the bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn oh. on the controls. Stanley gasped <laughs> in horror. Had this been the bucket's plan all along? To take over the machine and claim the power for itself? How could the bucket have betrayed him like this? Oh! Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Birds. Silly, silly birds. The control buttons became active again. Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another and then it dawned on him. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds oh, all over the world. Right. The mind controls were only a facade to disguise its true intentions. Mm. Had the bucket known this all along? Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hands, the one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Stanley and the Bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here in this place, flipping through live streams <laughs> of the silliest birds imaginable. Of all the possible paths his life could have taken, this one was surely the best. It, it is! And Stanley was happy. Oh, precious! That was an ending for sure, right? I love that. Those birds are so silly.